Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie O, aka Jackie Ina. Please say the Ina. I got this big old peachy looking box. I'm I'm here for this packaging. All the way here for this packaging. This is the newest collection for Mac and Nicki Minaj. She got to collaborate with them and create two of her own signature nude lipsticks. Here we got Auntie Nikki in the flesh and the blood squatting for the squatting for the gram. She's doing more squats in this picture than I've done all year. Shout out to you, Nikki. <laughs> Good evening. Nikki Minaj. Apparently they launched an entire whole new array and collection of nudes to support Nikki's collection, but these are the only ones that Nikki created. Today we're gonna be reviewing them, trying them on, swatching them, and just giving my thoughts on the collection. I kind of feel like I'm hearing some mixed reviews on this collection. A lot of brown girls are not here for it. A lot of people are saying these are not dark skin friendly. However, I mean, Nikki's not even that dark, so I just wouldn't expect her to make a universal nude for me. But honestly, as much as I love nude lipsticks, I usually know how to like make things work and finesse them. I really don't feel like nude is just my skin tone. I feel like there's pinky nudes, there's peachy nudes. There's just so many different versions of nudes that it's kind of like, I mean, you know, like, what am I even talking about? So anyway, she created two nude lipsticks. They both have an amplified cream formula. MAC has different types of formulas. They have their cream sheen, they have their satin, they have matte, I think they have retro matte and like a bunch of, they, they just have a bunch of different formulas for everyone's needs. Personally, the Amplified Lipstick is my favorite from the MAC collection. MAC was really the first brand that I got into. I felt like just in their marketing and in their campaigns, it was for everyone, all ages, all races, all sexes. I'm kind of here for this collection with Nikki just because I feel like she embodies everything that a Mac girl wants to be. Like she's bold, she's sexy, she expresses herself differently. Some ways I don't always agree with, but I can definitely say as far as her style, she pushes the envelope. And I feel like Nikki's that girl. Like Nikki, what lipstick are you wearing? Nikki, what lash is that? Like Nikki is definitely that girl. So I said all of that to say, if anybody deserves a lipstick collection from Mac, it would definitely be her. So she's got two lipsticks in the Amplified formula. The lipsticks are $17.50. I remember when MAC lipsticks used to be like $15, but $17.50 honestly is a pretty fair price in my opinion. I haven't decided if I wanna try all of the lipsticks yet. That's a lot of lipsticks. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to swatch them or something. But I am tempted though. First of all, just a moment of appreciation for the packaging. I wonder what the box that the lipstick comes in looks like. I didn't get a box, I just got this whole Nick, the Nikki the Nikki squat, the Nikki dropping it down on all fours. So you get like this rose gold copper feel, you open in the tube, it is all one color, it is monochrome. I'm also a huge fan of the smell of MAC lipsticks, it's vanilla and I'll just be all in it. But it's like a soft vanilla. If you don't typically like scented lipsticks, I don't think you'll be off put by these. I don't know why I'm talking about MAC lipsticks like no one's ever tried them. There was really no other brand back in the day aside from MAC and maybe Bobbi Brown, like as far as like higher end makeup brands that had the most extensive collection of lipsticks like MAC always has. Okay, so let's take a look at Nikki's new. This is described as a pale pink pearl with luster. It's definitely not dark, but it's not, it's not like snob light either. You know, so do you guys remember snob? Snob was a hot mess. If you guys have tried these, because this did launch on September 21st, please, ooh, that is so creamy. Wow. That actually feels more like their satin formula than it does amplified. But I think I was expecting more matte, but this is extremely, extremely creamy. This is probably going to be very hydrating. Okay, so this is real light. The pink print is real light, girl. You probably gonna need a liner. A large. Here is pink print and they both, oh, that's super light. So here is Nikki's nude and this is pink print. And amongst these two, I literally just see two nude pinks that would be perfect for someone who has a medium skin tone. I'm not really mad at it because these are colors that I'm comfortable wearing, but I can totally understand people who are not. This one especially, pink print may be a little on the light side, but Nikki's nude actually has a little bit of coral, it has a little bit of color, whereas this one's got a little bit of that gray white background that might need a liner. I'm gonna first try these on with no liner, and then I'm gonna put a liner on top so you can see what they would really look like if I was wearing them in real time. So let's start off with 
Nikki's nude. Actually, let's start off with pink print because I feel like pink print is probably the one I'm gonna wanna take off first. Eh, note to sell. You better address the crustiness before you come for these nudes because they will snitch on you. I'm just saying. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Okay, whoa. In the monitor, in the monitor, there's a lot happening, but this is actually really pretty. You guys, I'm not mad at this at all. So the pink print is definitely a light nude, but this is actually really pretty. Oh my God, I just keep looking in the monitor. In the monitor, it's a lot, but let's add a liner just so we can kind of marry it with our own skin tone a little bit more. The color that I'm gonna be using is K Liner. This is a perfect match for my skin tone. It's just gonna make it so that we have like a buffer transition color in between my bare skin and the lightness in the nude. Basically, it's just gonna make it flatter my skin tone better. Did I tell you this is from ColourPop? This is from ColourPop. I'm really feeling this color. This to me screams like the MAC nude everybody wanted to wear. Like this is what the epitome of what a MAC girl nude looked like, okay? Or MAC boy nude looked like. Judge me if you want to, but I actually was not mad at the color with no liner. Sometimes it's just different, you know? Like it's like, we get it, it's light, I get it. It just takes the look to a different feel if that makes sense. I do, however, think it looked a little bit different on camera, so where it may be a little stark for you, this to me looks very flattering. I'm really comfortable with this. If you are darker than me though, I think you may need to either heavily line your lips and keep this color pretty much only in the center or skip it. The pink print is definitely not a nude for people who are scared of nudes. But all in all, the formula is phenomenal. It's not matte at all it actually has a little bit of shine to it and it's super moisturizing and even on one swatch you can clearly see how opaque this formula is and how opaque the lipsticks are as well so let's go ahead and wipe this show off and go to lipstick color number two wipe off some of the crust while i'm at it don't be judging me don't be judging nikki's nude is a soft corally pink same formula the amplified formula and i'm just gonna go right in These are super pigmented. Oh my God, this is so pretty. That's my kind of nude. That is peachy nude. That's what I look for. This is what I came here for, Nikki. Nikki, this is what I came here for. Onika, Onika thought of me when she made this lipstick. Dare I say don't need a liner. I'm gonna keep it as is because I just like it. I think that the pink print is more like your club and nude pink, something that you would wear with like a full beat, like glitter black smoky eye, five inch lashes contoured from here to Vegas, like that kind of look. Nikki's nude, I feel like you can sheer her down a little bit. And this one is a little bit more wearable, more versatile, definitely compared to the pink print. You guys know anything with a little bit of peach, I'm all for, and I definitely, Definitely see myself wearing Nikki's nude a lot this season. I'm just gonna clean it up around the edges with a little bit of liner. Just a little bit, just a teen -sers. As far as how it's shaping my lip on my bare skin, I actually like it, prefer it without liner. Do I think Chocolate Girl should shy away from this lipstick collection? Not necessarily. Honestly, when it comes to brown girl friendly products, it, it sometimes it just depends on personal preference. A lot of people would look at those colors and say, that's not brown girl friendly. But Nikki is brown, so I'm like, she's definitely a lighter shade of brown and I'm not anywhere near Nikki, not even close to looking like Nicki Minaj's skin color. But with these colors, I'm comfortable wearing them. I think they're beautiful on my skin tone. I think they'd be beautiful on darker skin tones as well. It honestly just depends on personal preference. If you're not comfortable with the nude this light, then I would say skip it. If you are, 
then rock it and be comfortable and confident in it. And if you feel like you need to throw on a liner, then throw on a liner, throw on some gloss. That's the fun thing about makeup is you don't have to just wear it as is. You can tweak things, you can finesse them. Sometimes it is nice though, I get it, to just take the tube out and put it on. No prep, no, no chaser needed. I don't mind doing that. I think both of these colors are beautiful. Of the two, personally, I'm feeling Nikki's nude a little bit more. And this is definitely, definitely, I just have a question, Nikki, ahem, <clears throat> Onika. Okay, it's October. Why were these nudes not introduced in the summer, honey? I know they came out September 21st, okay, give or take about a week and a half ago, but this is my type of summer nude, okay? This is my type of Malibu Barbie, all right, Nikki? I'm just saying I should have been rocking this in June instead of October, but they're both still bomb and I will be rocking both of them. So in this PR box, I also got this really gorgeous nude lip gloss. It's just in the color nude. Oh, it smells like vanilla. Oh. This almost kind of looks like the gloss version of Nikki's nude. So I just want to put a little bit on top and see what she looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that is beautiful. Wowie. Another gloss that I got is under the sheets. This is their lip gloss formula. And this one's more of a pearl. This is more like a champagne pink. It's pretty light, but I definitely would see myself wearing a color like, oh, that's so pretty. All that shine, how do they get, MAC, I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. I don't know how they got all that shine packed in there, but that was a gorgeous color. Since I got a little bit more time to kill, I'm just gonna really quickly go through the other nudes that they launched in support of Nikki's collection. This is Derriere, and this is supposed to be a mid-tone yellow brown, and they suggest that you wear it with cork lip liner. That's really pretty, ooh, ooh. I like the fact that on the website, they they give you like a liner suggestion. Here is Among the Fireflies, random name, but hey, we in here. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh my God, this is like a nude mauve. What does the website say? So it says it's a soft mocha and they suggest you pair it with Whirl Liner. That's really pretty. I actually would prefer to see a color like this with a deeper dark liner because colors like these tend to get lost in my skin tone. It's literally like too nude on me. Babies All Right, AKA Babies Are Us is a, <laughs> is a mid to, oh, this is so pretty and very matte, ooh. This is Babies All Right, this is like the perfect. This reminds me a lot of Pink Plaid. Maybe a little darker, Pink Plaid, on my MAC people? Pink Plaid, right? I think I'm seeing some Pink Plaid. It's definitely kind of like a blue pink, a nude blue pink, but this color I live for because it's like the perfect preppy, it's like a preppy pink, I don't know. What does that even mean? <laughs> Here is age, sex, location. This is a dirty, of course it would be dirty, a dirty mid-tone pink. Lots of pinks in this collection. I'm wondering if I'm gonna start seeing some more beiges, browns, and corals. Peach, peach. This is patisserie, patisserie. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Patis patisserie, doesn't that mean like bakery or something? I don't know, this is very sheer. Very, very sheer. You could probably get away. I literally had to layer that on 10 times to see the color. Let me try it on again. Okay, so it's not as sheer as I thought it was. I had just removed the previous lip color, so I think I needed to get through the makeup wipe layer first. But that is patisserie. This is a sheer, creamy, neutral pink. That's a really pretty color. I'm the queen of nude pinks, but they put a lot of time effort and research into these pinks, apparently, because there's a lot of them. Okay, this is, mmm, which is supposed to be a dirty rose pink. That's pretty, but again, I'm seeing, oh, and it's very, very creamy. Very, is this an amplified? This is an amplified. So this is, mmm, and this is a dirty rose nude. Finally, we've tapped into something that's not pink. This is Easy Babe, and it, ooh, ooh, in the light, she looking real cute though. So Easy Babe looks like my skin color, like a coffee, ooh, ooh, Easy Babe is bomb. Wait a minute. I feel like if you added more color, to Fresh Brew, because Fresh Brew is real sheer, it would look like this. And if Fresh Brew was matte, it would look like Easy Babe. This is A Girl's Got Needs, and oh, I love this color, ooh. Okay, so more colors that are starting to look like my skin tone. Pinks are great, but my undertones are gold, so 
I like seeing a little bit of a coffee color, lattes, you know, give me NC43 in a tube or something. The right note is a warm, sandy nude. This is, oh, that's really pretty. A little light for my taste. It, it looks very, oh, it's actually pretty. I would, I would wear that, I take that back. This one is definitely more peachier than it is pink compared to the other ones. It's also very shiny, so it's almost, let's see what the, it's a cream sheen. The Amplified Formula from MAC will really have you spoiled. Okay, next I have Strip. I just wanna see you, Strip, Strip. And Strip is cute. She's a light, dirty, peachy beige. That's supposed to be paired with Subculture, which I cannot wear because she's too light. This is a matte formula. Their max mattes are a little dry, a little bit on the dry side. But that's what mattes do. So here is stripped. It's definitely the epitome of a nude peach. I do like this color, but I wish it was amplified though. Like I need a little bit more creaminess. A little bit more, you know. This next one is plain koi. Oh, whoa, whoa. Let's see what that looks like compared to pink print. Cause this almost kind of gives me the same vibe. Mm, now do you see what I wanted to say? Okay, this is perfect because when I first swatched the pink print, I thought it was gonna look like that. But instead we got that. That makes this color more wearable. See how white this is? Plain Koi is very light. It's not really like my kind of nude. I feel like that's like the 21 year old nude. Like when you're going to the club and I ain't got time for all that. She just turned 30 this year, okay? So that's not, that's not a social security nude, okay? That's like going to live in Miami a Friday night nude and I don't have, I'm, I'm not the one. Pretty Please is next, which I'm pretty sure is permanent. I know that some of these colors are permanent. They aren't all, these aren't, whoa. I feel like Pretty Please is trying to come for me because this is a light color, but let's see, let's see, Pretty Please. You better be ready to square up in a minute. I'm definitely seeing some duochrome. Ooh, that's really, oh my God, that's really pretty. I felt like I was seeing some duochrome. Like I almost kind of feel like this is a lip topper and a lipstick. And this is described as a pale pearl pink, which is I think the perfect describer for it. Japanese maple is a frosted light beige. Reminds me a lot of the formula of Pretty Please, but this is more peachier. Creme de Nude is definitely permanent and way too light for me, but I'ma give you the swatch because that's what you came here, yeah. Very like white pink. I may be able to get away with wearing this with swatches, you really never know. Bare Bling is just a light peachy nude. Oh, uh, I'm not feeling this one. This is pretty light, pretty light. And there's no umph to it. It's just pretty flat. It's almost kind of grayish, at least on me. This is Bossom Friend. She's real cute in the tube, but I don't know if this is gonna be for me, girl. This is a sheer pinky nude with fine pearl. Pretty white though. This is very light, but you know, there's a nude for everyone. I just don't think this is for me. And there's lots of silver in there too. Definitely not my kind of nude. This is 2N, which I think is a repeat offender. Like this is come, it's not permanent if I remember correctly, it's come back a couple times and then they also have like three in, one in, if I remember, am I, am, I, am I drawing a blank? I feel like there was more than one in. I don't know, I could be tripping. But anyway, this is two in, she's very light. And then the last nude I have is Gossamer Wing. What does that even mean? I don't know. But Gossamer Wing looks like this. That's actually really pretty, ooh, that's gorgeous. It's a dirty beige with gold, oh my God. The shift in this one is insane. That's gorgeous. It is a dirty beige with gold shift. And the gold shift is serious, y'all. Like, I almost want to put this... <laughs> What's wrong with me? I want to put this on my collarbone, though. Like, this is so bomb. Sorry, Gossamer. Today, you're taking up two jobs. That's just how we roll in the Aina household. Ooh, that is really pretty. Itty. Pop that on my shoulder for my date tonight though. Y'all think I be playing, I'm not. Oh! That is gorgeous, I can rock with this one. Gossamer Wing with that crazy name, whatever that means. Out of Nikki's entire collection, I really see myself wearing Nikki's nude like 
every day if I could. I do personally think it's a little bit more appropriate for spring, but that ain't gonna stop me from wearing it up until December, don't get it twisted. And as for the rest of the lipsticks, the three that stood out to me the most were Easy Babe, A Girl's Got Needs, and Gossamer Wing, Gossamer Wing. And I also really like the nude lip gloss. So I will be keeping these five products out of all the rest of them in my top shelf of favorites. Congratulations again to Nikki on this collection. It is fire girl and I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If you've tried Nikki's collection, please let me know down in the comments what you think, what you've copped, what you plan on copping, or if you don't like it, I won't be offended in my collection. I did a full face on milk makeup. I think you'll enjoy it. Since you made it to the end, you might as well watch it. I put the link to the video right here. And if you have not subscribed, I'm judging you. You better fix it. I'm wait. You know what time it is. You better fix it.